All right, let's go ahead and get started with the Google Net. After the AlexNet, Google Net came in 2012. In fact, in 2013, another network was introduced that I am just skipping just to complete, uh, just to cover all different type of the architectures. So this Google Net also introduced the major changes all uh, over the AlexNet. For example, this Google Net also called as the Inception version 1 network. So the major change which Google Net introduced here, it introduced an uh, inception layer. So what you see there, this whole thing is actually the inception layer, all right, or inception network. So this inception network was introduced by the Google Net or the inception version, inception version one network. Google Net has the total 22 layers with the weights. It's unique architecture feature inception module and uh, it really helped this uh, inception version 1 model to win the uh, to to win that uh, uh, ImageNet large scale visual recognition challenge uh, for the year of 2012. This inception module core building block, this inception module was the core building block of the Google Net network. It has here, it has here a 3 by 3 convolutional layer, 5 by, uh, sorry, 3 by 3 uh, the filter and 5 by 5 filters and here 1 by 1 convolution. So you can say the another major uh, the difference in Google Net or inception module Watch here introduction of the one by one convolution here. All right. So the two things we now know that the major difference was here inception module. This was introduced here. Another one was one by one. CNN was also introduced here. All right. So you see there these one by one CNN got introduced here. So the basic idea with the inception one or the Google Net was why not to do the everything. The in in previous uh, in, in previous uh, uh, the networks like the LX Net, the people were discussing keep filter size eleven by eleven. Then it moved to the it, then thereafter it moved to the uh, uh, you know the 5 by 5 filter size and then it moved to the 3 by 3 filter size that was the in AlexNet. So the people or the scientists at the Google while designing the Google Net they thought that why not to put everything instead putting these one by one. So what they did here they actually used 3 by 3 they used here 5 by 5 they used here 1 by 1. So basically they used all these together. All right, so they used all these together so that they, they they can take the advantage from the all of these all of these uh, the filter size. So that's the inception uh, the network's core building block here. The another advantage was doing this one by one convolution filter is to reduce the total number of parameters here. So the Google Net reduced the total number of parameters here. Although this size of the Google Net was 22 layers, but the total number of parameters was just the 62 million parameter. The another difference what they introduced here that was the global pooling average. All right. It was here the global pooling. All right. So global average pooling, they did that in the last stage, just before, you know, just before this fully connected layer, you see that this, uh, just, just before this dropout actually. So they did here at the global average uh, the pooling. So this helped them to reduce the total number of parameters. Now, if you compare the AlexNet and the Google Net, the number of the layers are much more larger than the AlexNet in the Google Net, but the number of the parameters are not that much high. So these are very much lesser if we compare with the AlexNet here. All right. And also this one by one convolution filter, what we see here, this reduces the total number of the depth there. 
So let me just explain you how this one by one convolutional network works to reduce there the total number of parameters there. Suppose that you have a suppose that you have here let's say I'm just gonna make it somewhere. Okay, so I make it here. You have number of features here, let's say x by y, but the total but the total depth you have here very large, let's say the 256 here. If you apply here 64 1 by 1 convolutional filter, then you can simply convert it into a volume of here the depth with the 64 without changing these input size there. That's when x and the y will be exactly the same. So the input and output size will be same there, but this depth will get changed. So basically what happens here, so we are compressing this whole 256 dimension into just 64 dimensions there without losing any kind of the data. Later on, they found that doing this one by one convolutional neural network, this does not just save the space, but also increase the accuracy and training speed. So this one by one convolutional filter was really very helpful in this Google net. Later on, this one by one convolutional filter was used as the depth wise separable convolutional in mobile net and the efficient net, which was, which are the nowadays the latest network. Generally in machine learning algorithms, when we deal with the deep learning networks with the image classification, we use the mobile net and the efficient net. So these one by one convolutional neural networks are, are being used in these recent networks nowadays. Alright, so this is all about in this lesson. I'll see you in next one.